Believe it or not, but it's actually really easy to mine cryptocurrency using nothing but your Mac. So over the last couple of days, I've been mining cryptocurrency with my iMac and with my MacBook. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do it too. Hey, I'm Ryan from tryingcrypto.com, making crypto easy. And let's go ahead and show you exactly how to do it. And I use a program called Minergate which you can get over at Minergate.com. This is a free program that allows you to mine cryptocurrency and it also connects you to a mining pool, which is a group of other people who are mining the same coin. So you put all your efforts together and whatever rewards are achieved and whatever coins are mined, that's then shared with the group based on how much effort each person put in. So the better your Mac, the more coins you're going to earn. So go ahead and download this and install it. I also recommend you download SMC Fan Control, which is a free program, which allows you to control your fan. Now, mining cryptocurrency can make your computer very hot. So you might need to turn up the fan, otherwise your computer could shut down from overheating. So go ahead and install this. I'll leave the links in the description down below as well. So once you've gone ahead and installed Minergate, let's go ahead and bring up the program which you can see here. When you first open it, it'll start smart mining for you. Now smart mining is where they go out and they look at the market and they see what's the most profitable coin so what are the coins worth as well as how difficult is it to mine those coins and they'll choose the most profitable coin for you. So at the moment it's XMR, which I think is Monero. Now I ran this for a couple of days and you can see I did mine some Monero, but it's in an unconfirmed balance. And I wasn't really able to get that over to the confirmed balance, uh, which just takes extra computer, like extra mining. I don't know how long it's gonna take to get this from unconfirmed into confirmed. So I went ahead and paused that and I went to the miner section. And as you can see, there's lots of different coins here. When you first load it up, it might only show a few, but if you click the show all, then it will show you all of the coins that you can potentially mine. So because I wanted to see if I could actually mine something, I tried mining an easier coin. Uh, there is this INF8 which is a really easy coin to mine, but it actually has no market value. So there's no point mining that one. So I'll go ahead and hide that. So the next easiest I found was this QCN coin. So I mined, as you can see, two QCN coins. And this took me about two days with my Mac to mine these two coins. So if we go over to coinmarketcap.com and look at QCN, which is this Quasar coin, we can see the value is about five cents. So five US cents at one point, uh, it was about 10 cents. It has previously been about two or three cents, uh, but you know, at the moment it's five cents. So five cents a day, not a lot of money, uh, but that's basically what I've been able to mine with my Mac. Five cents a day works out to about $18 per year. Um, but my computer is not very good. So when you start up Minergate, I do recommend you go ahead and click on this benchmark button. And if you start a benchmark, this will then go through and look at how good your computer is at mining cryptocurrency. And so this will give you a good idea of whether or not it's gonna be worth it for you and how much you can mine. So as you can see, my benchmark, I got one star out of five, total score of 496. Previously, when I've done this, I've gotten even lower, like around the 200 mark. Um, so it says your computer is below the average, mine some coins to upgrade it. And then you can see here, this is the result of my MacBook Pro. And I actually got three out of five stars, total score of 1,599. So three times as good as my iMac. And that actually gave me an estimate saying you can make an extra $25 per year with only this computer. So while my iMac might be able to mine about $18 worth of coins over the course of a year, my MacBook Pro has the potential to mine more, maybe $60, maybe around $100. So depending on how new and how good your Mac is, as well as if you have a GPU, you can mine a lot faster if you have a GPU rather than just a CPU like I do, um, then you can mine a lot more. 
So that is how you mine cryptocurrency using your Mac. As you can see, it's really simple. I'll leave the links to Minergate as well as that SMC fan control down in the description below. You can also take advantage of cloud mining using a website called Hashflare. So rather than mining it yourself on your Mac, you can pay Hashflare for their equipment. So for their mining equipment, which is obviously going to be a lot more efficient. And you can go ahead and you can mine Bitcoin, you can mine Ethereum, you can mine Zcash, which I have been doing as well. And that seems to be a lot more profitable than mining it with my Mac. So if Hashflare is something that you're interested in, then go ahead and check it out. Again, I'll leave the link in the description down below. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and check out this video on whether or not it's worth it to mine cryptocurrency using your Mac. So we do an analysis there of whether or not it's actually profitable or check out this video about the most profitable coin to mine using Hashflare so you can maximize your returns.